Hello again. Here we are. Thursday morning. It's a rainy day. Not as nice as uh, it has been, but I did uh, pretty much switch over to the iced coffee, you know. Springtime's here, kind of. Even though it's in the 40s today. One hash browns, two hash browns. Frank's favorite. Everything bagel, all the food groups. Toasted with cream cheese. Man, the bagels are small now. Look at that. Back roads today. Trailblazer was a little rough. A lot of stuff dangling out of it. Nice slow ride down the back roads. A couple of hours in the junkyard, but about halfway. Small Dunkin' Donuts built into a Trade Winds store. I always choose to get the bagel at this one. For some reason it's perfect every time. They toast it perfect. Plenty of cream cheese on there. Fresh. One back in town. Sometimes it's like can't even bite into it so hard. I don't know why it's like that, but oh Frank the Bank, his favorite. Used to get two of them every morning. But Rosie likes the hash browns. You sleeping? Do you even taste it? No, nope, swallowed. But um, yeah. So the Trailblazer, one of those deals. Where he kind of do it to help somebody out, pretty much. Bad situation. A couple months ago, when it was still pretty frosty out there, I was notified of this uh, Chevy Trailblazer sitting at a at a house nearby where I live in town. Situation was a few years back, um, the troublesome ex-boyfriend, if you would, took this um, lady's vehicle. And uh, I guess left it at a place that was I would say a house of undesirables if you would but 
Anyway, I guess uh, the boyfriend owed some money to somebody. They came, got mad, and uh, they decided to vandalize the vehicle. So, it was also said that they probably cut the cat off of it, knowing where it was, very possible. But anyway, it got dragged to another yard, and they gave it to this other guy in town that had a small business. working on um, motorsport type stuff snowmobiles motorcycles and stuff and he had one and he wanted that one for parts so anyway they dragged it onto a trailer what was left of it and I guess he wanted some, he wanted the engine, transmission, stuff like that, I guess, from what I was told, but, well, that guy recently passed away, his daughter gets the property, there's a bunch of junk on it, I got one S10 out of there, back then, that I could get to. Uh, of course, they don't have titles to anything, but some of them are like that S10 were old enough I could just get rid of. So, anyway, the girl started saying, you know, I want this. She started to get kind of mad and found out that a trailblazer really didn't belong to her. She really couldn't do anything because it was a 2004, needed a title. The guy never got a title in his name, her dad. So now it goes back to the female that I know. It still owns it technically. Now it's on her. So you can see it got kind of messy there. And she asked me if there's anything I could do. I said, well, can't do anything with it without the title being an 04. I said, I can't even scrap it. So, I said, it, you said yourself, it probably has no cat on it. I don't really pay. Actually, I don't pay for vehicles without converters. We know that. So, she said, well, I said, I don't even really want to take it. I mean, it's not even really worth my time as far as weight. But, Not to mention it's going to be hell of a time to get the thing out of where it was in the yard. So, went over and um, had a friend of mine down the street bring his little plow rig over. We plowed a path and uh, proceeded to try to get it out. All the tires were off the beads, all flat thing was so frozen in the ground didn't want to move never had to leave one behind before very rare but I was defeated on that one I broke a tie down uh, hook on my trailer trying to put the truck in four wheel and just hook a chain try to yank it out of its hole but just ended up messing things up course the brand new winch 12,000 pound winch worked good but what was happening when I was trying to winch it the whole truck and trailer it was just pulling the, the whole thing backwards because it was all ice and snow there was no it wasn't anchored down so tried everything even got a guy I know locally has a small tractor with a bucket he came over 
he plows snow and stuff with it and it couldn't even it just didn't even have enough to 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 pick the nose up and get it you know out of its hole or anything so well I forgot to mention that she had to apply for the title it took a long time to get it but it did finally come in so she signed it over to me so that I could go there now if anyone said anything people you know were a little bit mad I could say well I got the title to it so it's mine now but they could say well you left it abandoned in my yard so they had to kind of tread lightly anyway but when we showed up there was no hard feelings um, the girl was pretty cooperative and everything so she just you know at this point wants it out of the yard so kind of a bummer um, couldn't get it said so gonna have to wait I have to wait till spring till it thaws nothing else I can do so here we are and uh, just start to you know get everything melted down and all of a sudden I'm hearing stuff about it you know so it turns into trying to help someone out now it's on me and pretty much everyone's saying when the hell are you going to get that thing out of there so I got to listen to that but that's the way it goes so I went over there with a friend of mine again lives down the street friends of the family the guy that used to live at the house so that kind of helped and uh as you'll see in the video, we were able to pull it out of there. Almost didn't, but dug my uh, the wheels of my truck right into the grounds, a little bit muddy. But once it started to come up out of there, the winch pulled it, and uh, one brake was stuck in the front. I eventually got that to turn. We got it loaded up so the people were very happy that are living there now to get it gone start to clean up the yard a little bit there's a couple more vehicles that maybe I might get in the end I'm not sure There you go. So, it's a win on the Trailblazer. And, uh, like I said, you could not even see underneath the thing. It was so, the running boards were buried in the ground. That's how low the thing was, how long it had been sitting there. And you just couldn't even uh, see under there to see if the cat was even on it. But,. Once I got it up on the trailer, sure enough, it was cut right off a long time ago. No battery, no cat. It does have four aluminum wheels, so I was happy about that. At least make a little bit of a little bit of my fuel back for the day with that. But um, uh, when we got back, now you know, a few months later, we get back to the vehicle. And uh, it seems like someone went in it, maybe kids went back into it, vandalized it even more, and they put the shifter back into park when we had it in neutral, which uh, was tough to do with the ignition and uh, no keys. So I had to break that shifter again and um, mechanism in there and get that back into neutral. And they even took the gauge cluster and 
ripped a bunch of other stuff off the interior. I don't know really why, but uh, anyway, it was gone. But the saga is over, and uh, you know, everyone's life will be much better when this thing is flat as a pancake. Cleans up the yard, gets rid of a burden of, of uh, you know, the girl that owned it and a bad time in her life, you know, with this vehicle and a lot of, you know, history and stuff behind it and uh, a lot of broken dreams, if you know what I mean. So we clean them up, get rid of the, get rid of the dreams, get rid of the memories. And uh, hopefully make a couple dollars. And that's it. We move on to the next one. We got more hash browns. Who wants them? Thank <laughs> you. 